I'm John Magnuson with the Cedar Tree Institute, and we're here to launch Earth Keepers 2, an interfaith environmental initiative in the coming two years with a focus on energy conservation and community gardens and bring back the native plants. Community church gardens. I have faith in seeds. Very good things will come from this. Delta Green is the technical partner. This is building on the work that our collaborative communities participated in from 2004 to 2009. And thanks to the United States Forest Service and the United States Environmental Protection Agency, at the heart of this work is a group of students from Northern Michigan University. My name is Tom Merkel. My name is Caitlin Bingner. I'm Adam Magnuson. But we will be working with tribes, especially Keweenaw Bay, and I want to honor them. Expect great wonders. Now I'd like to introduce Nancy Auer, representing the Episcopal Diocese of Northern Michigan. Well, today I represent the Episcopal Church in Northern Michigan. Our bishop, Rayford Ray, asked me to substitute for him today because he is actually at a Justice and Peace Conference our diocese is having in Escanaba, and he's working on an oral health initiative similar to what we're doing here today for the environment. I was asked to represent the Episcopal Church. Uh, I was very blessed to be with the first Earth Keepers movement when John and Charlie West were involved and uh, we did a lot of the e-waste collections and now I'm really excited to have some of our churches become uh, more energy efficient as well as help in community affairs we're excited in my own little parish in Calumet, Michigan, where we've been trying to start up a community garden for a while, and now we'll have the impetus and the energy to do that. And I'm very grateful, again, too, for the students that are here. Actually, you may not know it, but the woman to my left, Kira, was actually one of my graduate students many years ago. So uh, the environmental movement and the faith movement are critical movements to join together and through those people we can actually touch and make a difference in the world. So thank you for inviting me. I know that very good things will come from this. That is community church gardens, whether it be a vegetable garden, a healing garden, a meditation garden, herb garden. My native plant garden in Milwaukee is about 20 feet by 15 feet. And it is just a delight for me to see my workers in there. In the morning and coming back in the evening, the male bombus or bumblebees roost. My garden serves as a repository for those native bees and other pollinators for my whole urban community. These small native gardens serve as the pollinator source for the vegetable garden, not just in that churchyard, but in the neighborhood. And that is really a delightful thing. Those church lots and other uh, facilities related to that really do matter, and what we are doing really does matter. 